In the heart of the 19th century, the world was undergoing rapid transformation. The Industrial Revolution was in full swing, colonialism was reshaping the map of the world, and in the eastern part of Africa, a new era was dawning for Ethiopia. This period saw the rise of a man who would change the course of Ethiopia's history, King Tewodros II. Born in 1818, Tewodros, originally known as Kasa Hailu, was a man of humble beginnings. His rise to power was not a simple feat. He fought numerous battles, overthrew regional princes, and eventually proclaimed himself emperor in 1855. He envisioned a united Ethiopia, free from the shackles of feudalism and regionalism, and worked tirelessly to achieve this vision. As his rule progressed, Tewodros found himself in conflict with the British. The dispute began when he requested British assistance in his efforts to unify and modernize Ethiopia. When the British did not respond to his satisfaction, Tewodros took a drastic step. He detained several British residents, including the consul, in an attempt to force a response. This action set in motion a series of events that would lead to Tewodros's downfall. The British government, under Queen Victoria, could not ignore this affront. They sent an expeditionary force in 1868, led by General Robert Napier, to secure the release of their citizens. This force was a formidable one, consisting of thousands of soldiers, elephants, and even cutting-edge artillery. Tewodros's forces were no match for the British expedition. His army, equipped with outdated weaponry and lacking in training, was quickly defeated. As British forces approached his mountain fortress of Magdala, Tewodros was faced with a choice, surrender or fight. His decision would echo through the annals of history. On April 13, 1868, as British cannons roared and his fortress was about to fall, Tewodros II made a fateful choice. Rather than surrender, he took his own life, using a pistol that had been a gift from Queen Victoria herself. The death of Tewodros sent shockwaves through Ethiopia and beyond. His life and death marked a pivotal moment in Ethiopian history. His vision of a unified Ethiopia was a beacon of hope for a nation fragmented by regionalism. His conflict with the British highlighted the tension between colonial powers and the nations they sought to control. Moreover, his tragic end symbolized the struggle of a proud nation against foreign domination. This struggle would continue in Ethiopia and across Africa, culminating in the Pan-African movements of the 20th century. In summary, the life and death of King Tewodros II were not just the story of one man or one nation, they represented the larger narrative of a continent grappling with the forces of colonialism and the desire for self-determination. His legacy continues to inspire and resonate, a testament to his vision and the indomitable spirit of the Ethiopian people.